Hello, everyone. How are you? Hello, fine. Hello. Thank you. Are you? I'm, I'm fine. great. <laughs> I'm great. Thanks for asking. Let me see. Thank you, Rafael. Let me see. Claudia, how are you, Claudia? Fine. The cat. <laughs> your cat, your cat again. <laughs> Yesterday I was in my cell phone. Really? <laughs> I'm fine. And you, teacher? I'm great. Thanks for asking. I'm happy because today is the last day of classes. <laughs> All right? Yeah, I'm yeah. not happy because I won't be with you. I'm happy because we are going to have vacation. Okay? And I'm going to miss you guys. <laughs> Let me see. We have Noemi. How are you, Noemi? Uh, I'm so happy because tomorrow is the last day, the last work day. Yes, excellent. There you go. That's the rhythm. The last. Uh, on work. Sunday, I gonna go to San Miguel. Mm -hmm. Are you going to travel to there to visit your uh, relatives or just? No, uh, like I go with my co-workers. Ah, oh, okay, that's cool, excellent. Okay, that's so cool. Hey, in San Miguel, they sell um, like a special bread, right? I don't know, but it's like really, it's actually like a snack. And it's uh, like really hard to buy, but it's really yummy. <laughs> okay. So I hope you try it. <laughs> Let me see. We have Marvin. Hello there, Marvin. Marvin. Hi, Fran, teacher. Not bad. It's, it's too all well. Everything is well. Excellent. Very good, Marvin. Hello. Listen to me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Are you listening to me? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, okay, teacher. I low the net the network is is lower. Mm, yeah, my I house. Got you. Yeah, I got you. Don't worry. It's good that you're in class. Let me see, Jessica. How are you, Jessica? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. I happy. Finish HLC for the platform. Really? Section four, that's great. Very good. Yes. Very good, Jessica. So are you happy because of your vacation? Uh huh, Jessica, are you happy because you're you're just about to go on vacation? Uh work at the world the supermarket, no vacation. Ah, uh, you're right. <laughs> yeah, you won't have vacation. Well, I got you, don't worry. Yes. I'm still going to work on vacation. <laughs> um, we have Diane. Welcome, Diane. How are you? Hi, teacher. How are everyone? Um, I am fine. All good. My day, um, very well. In the morning, I wake up. Um, in the afternoon, I work in the university uh -huh. um, in clean my house. Excellent, very good. That's so good that you like to be tiny and everything. Excellent. Let me see. Welcome to today's class, Diane. We have Fatima Rivas. Hello there, Fatima. How are you? Your microphone. Hi, with a lot of work in the office, but I'm happy to start a new English class. And, and uh, ¿cómo se dice? Se acerca la vacación. Yeah, we're getting just into vacations. Vacations are near. <laughs> ah, okay. Just around the corner. Uh -huh. Excellent, very good, Fatima. Yes, we are happy because of vacation. 
Are you happy, Fatima? Because of vacation, right? Yes, I'm happy. <laughs> Excellent. The, tomorrow is the last day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got you. Friday. It's Friday for everyone. All right, excellent, Farima. Let me see. Florence, how are you there? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I'm very well. I feel a little bit tired because work is hard every day. <laughs> but it's beautiful. You can do all of you like. You're right. I agree with you. Excellent. And how are you, about you, teacher? Well, I'm great. I'm happy to see you guys. Although it's the last class and I'm going to miss you during vacation, but I'm going to yes. be getting ready for your new content after vacation. So yeah, it's going to be like working and vacation at the same time. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Florence. Let me see, Grecia. Hello there. How are you? Hello. <laughs> I am late. <laughs> Don't worry. We're just in the warming up. <laughs> so it's I good was to eating. Oh, you're eating. You yeah. were eating. <laughs> okay, Jessica. Hey, Christia, it's good to see you in class. Thank you. Let me see. We have Ada. How are you, Ada? How is everything going on? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. That's great. Excellent. Welcome to today's class. Thank Let you, teacher. Let me see. Um, I have a message in here. Okay. So, hello there, Rene. Rene Samuel, how are you? I'm fine. Excellent, very good. Are you ready for today's class? Yes. Excellent, very good, that's the mood. Fatima, Karina, how are you? Hi teacher, I'm fine. I drink my coffee. <laughs> You're drinking your coffee, that's great, excellent. We love coffee over here. <laughs> Me okay. too. Yeah, of course, coffee is the best drink that we can have. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let me see. Sarseño Raúl. Hello there. How are you, Raúl? Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm excellent. That's great. Very good. Let me see. Jenny, how are you over there, Jenny? Good evening. Very good. good. Yeah. Excellent. It's good to see you in class. Well, I don't see you, but I know that you are there. <laughs> Let me see, Jocelyn. How are you, Jocelyn? Very well, and you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. It's a pleasure to be in here with you guys. Let me see. Andrea Sosa, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm very tired. Really? Ready to enjoy the holidays. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's that's right. You're right. We're just waiting for vacation. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Excellent. Let me see, Walter. How are you, Walter? Fine. Thank you, teacher. And you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. I'm excited for today's class. Let me see. We have Karina Marisol. How are you, Karina Marisol? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Yeah. Good evening. I am so fine. And you? I'm great. I'm excited. <laughs> oh, really? That's yeah. good. Today is class. Yeah. We need. We have new content to learn, everyone. No Thank case. you, Karina. Welcome. Let me see, Jimmy. How are you over there? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, guys. I'm fine, teacher. Excellent, very good. It's good to see you. <laughs> well, although I don't see you, but I know that you are over there. <laughs> Let me see, Patricia. How are you, Patricia? How was your day? 
Uh, it, it might be, it's, it's great. I feel great um, because it's Thursday and we are almost on vacation. It's not many days, but something is something. <laughs> exactly, yeah, we need to rest. I mean, we even get excited because when it's weekend, right? So imagine now that we're going to have like five days or more. <laughs> Excellent, very good. Okay, now everyone, I want to know something. Do you have plans for this vacation? Are you going to the beach? Or are you going to stay at home? You're gonna do something? Uh-huh, I'm listening to you. I visit my family. I, I travel to uh, Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. You will travel to Cincinnati, excellent. Very good, Diane. What about the others? So you're not doing anything. <laughs> I got you because I'm staying home, but at least you can say something. Let's see, Noemi, you opened your microphone. In my case, I shared with you my plans. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, you're right, excellent. Let's see, um, Noemi, are you going to visit any special place during vacation? Um, on weekends? I'm gonna go to Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. um, after, I believe going to visit my family. On Tuesday, I have a vaccine. Vaccine? Yeah. You're going to have the vaccine. That's so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Let's wait for the pain. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Good for you. Good for you. Let's see, Rafael. Uh -huh, Rafael, so what are your plans for this year vacation? Uh -huh, Rafael, you are not there, right? Let me see, we have Armando Antonio. How are you, Armando? How are you, teacher? Really? I I don't, I don't play. Sorry? I don't play. I don't play for vacation. Oh. oh, okay. Yeah. You you won't go anywhere, I believe, right? Okay, yes. So you're staying at home. That's safe. Very good. <laughs> yes. One, two, three days to relax. Next time. Because uh, I work. Mm -hmm, I yeah. Work. Yeah, you're house. right. Uh huh. Okay. In my house, I I work in housing. Yeah, you're right. Actually, everyone, if you think about it, we're going to have vacation, but you're still going to study, right? English, everyone. Don't yeah. forget about English. You gotta practice. Although it's vacation, we still need to remember. Okay, thank you, sir. Excellent, very good. Let me see, Rafael, there you go, there you are. So are you going to do something special with your family, Rafael, during vacation? Uh, yes, we are going to the beach mm -hmm. with some friends. Excellent, very good, that's great. Yes, I'm going to have vacation starting on Tuesday, no, Thursday. Really? Oh, so you're only going to have like two days, basically, right? Because then we go to the really, really. To the weekend. Yes. Yeah, you're right. Okay, but at least two days is something. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for me, yes. <laughs> Very good, excellent. All right, everyone. So as always, it's a pleasure to see you. I'm happy because most of you are here in class and that means a lot to me. And I hope it also means a lot to you. So welcome. Let me see, I'm going to share my PPT. Okay, just let me change something. Okay, okay so there you go. 
We're going to start today. We have actually new topics and we are in a new section. So before getting into the content, I just want you to remind you that you have to work on your platform, okay? Remember, whenever you need help, I'm here to help you. Um, you should advance in the platform. I think that you should finish section two. I'm not sure if it's before of vacation or you will have like two days after vacation, but you can hurry up in that part, right? On section two. All right, everyone, so welcome. We're in class number 10. We have, what do you remember from the last class? Your favorite part, because you remember everything, right? <laughs> Let me see. So we have only four questions, no more than that. Okay, I'm gonna need your help, my dear students. Let's see, Crisia, can you please ask Question number one to Florence. Of course. <laughs> Mention five vocabulary words that you learned last class. Okay, I remember we learned the last class uh, to use Dan to comparatives mm -hmm. and vocabulary the easy easier and early earlier like that excellent very good do you remember any material ah, like yesterday yes, we yes. were talking about materials I right remember. yes uh -huh. uh, cotton uh, leather uh, wool plastic um, seal, bear, gold. Excellent. There you go. Very good, Florence. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Let me see. Luis Alonso, can you please ask to Karina question number two? Please. Um, uh, Karina, which words? Uh, do we use to express preference? I think I, 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 there are two Karina. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, Karina, Karina, Jimenez. Karina Jimenez. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay. Karina Jimenez. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I I use to express uh, with I prefer and I like. There you go. Excellent. I can see now that you've been practicing, practicing, <laughs> excellent. Let me see now, Patricia, can you please ask question number three to Rafael, please? Okay, uh, to create sentence, sentence in comparative form, what the structure that we use is? Oh, I'm sorry, here, you don't need this. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't remember. Ah, you're missing the practice, right? <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, Rafael, don't worry. Let okay. me see if we can find somebody else who can help you. Uh-huh, Diane. Let me know, Diane. I remember um, objective, love, um here are love done there you go excellent very good there you go now yesterday we were talking that we have like more structures than than that one okay so maybe after vacation we're going to see a little bit about that but it's good for you to start thinking about using er when using comparative of course, this grammatical rule, it doesn't apply to all the adjectives, okay? So keep an eye on that. Uh, we cannot use ER with every adjective, right? For example, handsome, you cannot say handsome, right? That's not possible, so there you go. 
But at least it's good that you know that we do have some adjectives that we can use with that specific structure. Thank you, Diane. Let's go with Claudia Maria. Can you please ask to, to Marvin question number four? Mention at least three comparative adjectives. Thank you. Okay. Three comparative adjectives. Uh, in the last class, we used to cheap, cheaper, nice, nicer, pretty, prettier. Prettier. Repeat after me, prettier. Pretty. Mm -hmm. Excellent. There you go. Very good. Now, Maris, Mauricio, 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 can you please tell me three comparative adjectives that we have? Uh, I don't remember. Um, See, you, you can check on your notebook. Cheaper. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, uh, cheaper. Cheaper, easier. And cheaper, easier. I am. Um, let me see. Um, larger? No. Um, mm -hmm. Larger, yeah. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah, don't doubt. No do they. <laughs> You're sure. Okay, well, okay. that's our decree. <laughs> Excellent. Very good, Mauricio. Let me see if we can find somebody else that didn't participate yesterday. Nicer. Nice, nice. Uh -huh, nice. Excellent. Very good. Cesar, tell me three comparative adjectives that you learned yesterday. Big, biggest, bigger, mm -hmm. uh, cheap, cheaper, small, smaller. There you go. Excellent. Andrea Sosa, tell me three comparative adjectives, but but please don't tell me cheaper. <laughs> Try to look for another one, right? Uh, three comparative adjectives? Uh -huh. okay, we'll, uh, we learned them yesterday. Uh, uh, pretty, prettier. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Uh, when we are in the morning, we need one comparative adjective. Um, taller, tall, taller. Uh huh, taller, yeah. Um, uh, um. Uh, What's the comparative of early, Andreita? I don't know. Okay, let's early. see. Uh -huh. uh, earlier? There you go, excellent. <laughs> Good shot, excellent. Okay, now let's ask the last person. Let me see, Armando Antonio. Okay, tell me. Which are the three comparative adjectives that you remember from yesterday's class? Armando, are you there? Hmm, let's see. Noemi, can you help me, please? Hot, hotter. Mm -hmm. Lucky, luckier, uh, pretty, prettier. There you go. Excellent. Very good. So everyone, please don't forget to practice, okay? 
So today I sent the PPT on the WhatsApp group, so you can check it whenever you want to. Just try to make sure to practice as much as you can with the vocabulary, all right? Vocabulary, believe me, it's really important, as well as grammar, as well as writing and reading and also speaking, right? Remember that we have like four abilities or four skills, speaking, writing, reading, and no, we only have two, all right? So please keep an eye on that part, okay? Let's go. We have music genres, all right? Today we're going to learn about music. No, just kidding. We're not going to learn about music. We're going to use that topic to learn about something else. All right, let's see. I'm going to need, um, let me see, Jessica, can you please tell me the first three music genres that we have? From one to three. Country music, electronic music, folk. Huh. Excellent. Now listen, everyone. I'm going to tell you, thank you, Jessica, thank you. I'm going to tell you this vocabulary. Pay attention to my pronunciation and then you're going to practice, okay? So we have country music. Country music. Number two, electronic music. Electronic music. Number three, funk. Funk. Four, hip hop music. Hip hop music. Five, jazz. Jazz. Six, Latin music. Latin yes or music. jazz? Excuse me, huh? it's jazz? Yes, yeah, that's how you pronounce it. How do you pronounce that? Yes. yes. Or which one? Which number? Five? Yeah, just number that's five? how you pronounce it. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Then we got seven pop music. Pop music. Eight punk. Punk. Then we have eight again. <laughs> no, we have nine in here. Let me see. Let me change this. And we have number nine. Let me move this. Rhythm, listen to this one. Rhythm, rhythm, and blues. Rhythm and blues. Then we have number 10. Indie rock, indie rock. Now in this one, in indie rock, in Spanish, we know it as rock independiente, right? Indie rock. That's like the acronyms, acronyms that we have. 11, reggae, reggae, all right? Those are the ones that we can find. Of course, remember that nowadays we have like, we have more music genres, but you can copy these ones on your notebook. This is vocabulary, all right? You don't know if after vacation I'm gonna ask you, can you please tell me three music genres in English? Okay, so copy this vocabulary on your notebook, please. Excuse me. All right. Meanwhile, let's practice the pronunciation, guys. Let's see. Let's start with. Elvis Abrego, please. Tell me the music genres from one to five, okay? Okay, uh, country music, electronic music, funk, hip hop music, jazz. Yes. 
There you go. Thank you. Don't forget about this one. It's funk. All right. Don't ask me about that music genre because I don't know about it. I just know that it is, right? All right. Very good, Elvis. Thank you. Sarseño Raul, please, from six to nine. Larry music, pop music, punk, and writing and blues. Rhythm. Rhythm. Writing and blues. Excellent. Thank you. Rene Samuel from 8 to 11. ¿Cómo? From 8 to 11, please. I need you to practice your pronunciation, Samuel. Uh, please tell me the vocabulary from 8 to 11. Punk. Rhythm. No, no sé cómo... mm -hmm. Rhythm. Rhythm. Eso no sé cómo pronunciarlo. Let's see. Rhythm. Rhythm. Okay. Aquí en esta palabra terminamos con la M como cuando nos la enseñan, ¿verdad? Mm. Rhythm. Rhythm. Mm -hmm. There you go. El blues. Indie rock. Indie rock. Mm -hmm. Last one. Reggae. Reggae. Okay, thank Reggae. you. Let me see, Diane, help me from one to five. Country music, electric music, fun, hip hop music, yeah. Thank you. Claudia Maria. From six to eleven. Latin music, pop music, funk, rhythm and blues, indie rock, and reggae. Thank you. There you go. Milagro, na, Milagro, Mira. From one to five, please. Country music, electronic music, phone hit hot music, and jazz. There you go, excellent. Jimmy, from six to 11. Okay, Latin music, pop music, punk, rhythm and blues, Indian rock, and reggae. There you go, thank you, thank you so much. All right, everyone. So let's move on. We have like a conversation in here and I'm gonna ask all of you to practice, all right? So we have Tom and Liz, okay? I really like pop music. Let's see, Rafael, you are Tom, Noemi, you are Liz. You may start, thank you. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? <laughs> no, he doesn't. He's a single. Oh, I guess I don't know much about the rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Excellent. Bravo. Very good. Let's see. Patricia, you are Liz and Walter Tom. Action. Her, sorry. Um, can I make it uh, bigger? Ah, if I can make it bigger. Yeah, let me see. If not, I'm going to change this in here. Okay, there you go. So I can make it bigger. Thank you. You're welcome. 
There you go. Just let me cut this in here because. All right. Okay, so there you go. Let's see, please, Patricia, your list, Walter, your Tom. Action. Do you like rough please? No, I don't I don't like it very much. Uh, do you? Yeah, I do. I am Bill fan uh, of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So what king of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Bravo. Excellent. There you go. Let's go with, let me see, Karina Jimenez, you are Liz. Karina Jimenez, and let me see, you're going to work with Mauricio, please. Action. Like rap, please. No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I am a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? No, no he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess. I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? Yeah, very much. No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Very good. Who doesn't like Celine Dion, right? <laughs> She's really cool. Let me see. We're going to have an pair, Luis Alonso. Yeah, Luis Alonso with Crisia Munoz. You may start. Okay, um, do you like rap? Rap, please. No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I am a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Excellent, bravo, no mistakes. There you go. Cesar and Milagro Mira, please. You may start. Do you like rap, please? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I am big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like the pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love it. I love you, her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Usted se lo pierde. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. I'm sorry. 
Excellent. That's the attitude. <laughs> Thank you very much. It was great. No mistakes. Good fluency. Let's go with, let me see. Marvin and Florence, please. Action. Did you write rap with this? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I be fan of anime. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess. I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your five favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Thank you very much. No mistakes. Excellent fluency. Good fluency. Let's go with the next uh, pair. We have Elvis and Andrea Sosa. Please. Okay. Uh, do you like rap, please? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, yeah. I don't. I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Uh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Thank you. There you go. Excellent. Let's go with René Samuel and Ada Gabriela, please. Action. René Samuel and Ada Gabriela. Okay. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he danced. He is a singer. Oh, I I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what king of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was great. Okay. Let's see, Rene. Repeat after me. Kind. Kind. Three times. Kind. 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 Excellent. There you go. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for your participation. Very good job. Let's move on. We have, what kind of music do you listen to? All right. So if you notice, if you notice, my dear students, in the conversation, we use this kind of questions. Do you like, or what kind of music do you like? But we're going to see that in just a couple of minutes. But right now we have this practice, all right? So let's see. One of you is going to ask this question. Do you like, for example, do you like romantic music? Do you like pop music? Do you like punk? All right. You can use different genres. 
and we have the answers. Yes, I like romantic music. No, I don't like romantic music, right? Now listen, when having this practice, I want you to try to make it like with flavor, right? Con sabor. <laughs> I need you to make it this way because we're going to practice actually the intonation of words. So let's try to put a little bit of rhythm during the pronunciation, all right? Let's see. I'm going to start, I'm going to give you the example. Let's see. I'm going to ask to Farima Rivas. Farima, do you like punk music? No, I don't like pop music. I like the rock music. Excellent, very good. I thought you were going to say something like, no, I like um, romantic music. <laughs> Excellent, very good, there you go. Let me see. So Luis Alonso, do you like, let me see, do you like reggae? Uh, no teacher, uh, I don't, uh, I don't like uh, reggae. I like uh, uh, electronic music. Good, that's great. Very good. Let's see now, Milagro, it's your turn. You're going to ask this question this question to any of your partners that you have in here, right? Any of your classmates, you can choose anyone. Just ask this question. Do you like um, electronic music? Uh -huh. Aquí en... Yes. Yes, I like. Raúl Raúl, okay. Uh -huh, Raúl. Oh. Yes, I like electronic music. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Milagro. Let's see. Christian, please ask this question to Jennifer. Jennifer, do you like pop music? Okay. Yes, I like pop mu music. There you go, excellent, very good. Elsie de Carvalho, ask the same question to Walter, please. Hi. Do you like uh, music romantic? Romantic music? Romantic music? In... No. no, no, I, I don't, don't know. Uh, Walter is going. <laughs> Let's see. Walter is going to answer the question. Uh huh, Walter? No, I don't like romantic music. I like gospel music. Okay, great. Thank you. Let's see, Rafael. Please ask the, this question to. Let me see. To Diane, please. Diane, do you like jazz music? No, I don't like jazz. I like <laughs> pop music. Okay, excellent, very good. Patricia, you're the last one. Patricia, choose anyone who would you like to work with. Uh, do you like uh, jazz? Um, Elsie, do you like the? Do you like jazz, Claudia, Maria? No, I don't like jazz. I like uh, Latin music. <laughs> That's great, yeah. I remember last. <laughs> I, I remember that. <laughs> Very good. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for your participation. Let's move on. We have using do or does along with WH questions. This is part of the platform. So here you have. Let's see, Noemi, can you please ask the first question with do? Okay. Do you like rap? 
Excellent. Thank you. Let's see. Continue, Karina Jimenez. The answers that we have for that question. Yes, I do. I like it a lot. No, I don't. I like it very much. Very good. No, I don't like it very much. Excellent. Thank you. Continue, Noemi. The next question, the one that we have next to, next to, next to the first one. Yeah. What kind of music do you like? Thank you. Let's see. Fatima and Karina. I don't like it. The, this answer, I like rock. I like, I like rock a lot. There you go. Thank you. Cesar, can you please ask this question, the second question that we have, or the third question that we have? Uh, the, the piano. Mm -hmm. Does he play the piano? Thank you. Let's see, Jessica, the answer, both answers, please. Yes, it does. No, he doesn't. Exactly, very good. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Let's see, Luis Alonso, the question number four that we have in here. Uh, what does he play? Thank you, Mauricio, the answer. He plays the guitar. There you go. Crisia, question number five. Do they like the Beatles? Thank you. Milagro, the answers? Yes, they do. They love it time. No, they don't. No, they don't like them very much. Thank you. Fatima Rivas, the last question that we, that we have in here. Who do they like? Thank you. The last answer that we have, Karina Marisol. They like you too. There you go. So this is really important, guys. When we want to ask or when we want to know personal information about someone, we can use do or does to create the questions. But we can also use what, which means WH questions. For example, what, which, who or something else, right? For example, who's your favorite singer? All right. So you can use WH questions with do. You can also use with do and does. All right. There you go. Who's your favorite singer? Uh huh. Who's your favorite singer? Exactly. Very good. I'm asking you. I ask. Who's your ah, favorite my, singer? <laughs> my favorite singer. Huh? Good question. I don't know. I, Due to my parents always listen to all the music and I listen to the same music as them. Okay. I like everything. Okay, I like the be Beatles. Be if we're talking about Beatles. bands, Beatles or a Scorpion. If we're talking about, I don't know, singers, maybe Michael Jackson. He was really cool. He rocked. <laughs> right? There you go. So let's move on. We have object pronouns. Pay attention to this. If you don't have this information, please copy this, right? We have me, you, him, her, it, us, them, them, right? Let's see. Which are the object pronouns that we have, Fatima Karina? Which are the object pronouns that we have? Me. Mm -hmm. You. Him. Her. It. U. Them. Excellent. Thank you. Repeat after me. Us. Uh, oh. There you go. Thank you. Diane, which are the object pronouns that we have? Me. 
you, him, her, it, of, them. Thank you. There you go, Noemi. Which are the object pronouns that we have? Me, you, him, her, it, us, them. Thank you very much. Caesar. Tell me, Caesar, which are the object pronouns that we have? Me, you, him, her, it, us, them. Them or them? Them, them. Them, excellent, very good. Luis Alonso, please tell me, which are the object pronouns that we have? Uh, me, you, him, her, it, us, them. Excellent. Let's see, Milaro. Milaro, tell me the subject, the object pronouns. Me, you, him, her, it, us, the, them. Excellent. Elvis, tell me the object pronouns. Me, uh, her, sorry, I didn't the picture. Lost this. Mm -hmm. You have them here on the no, screen. Me, 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 you. <laughs> yeah. Me, you, he, her, it, us, them. There you go. Excellent. Last but not least, Andrea Sosa. Which are the object pronouns that we have? Me, you, him, her, it, us, them. There you go. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, everyone. Let's move on. We have this like extra information with auxiliaries, right? So we have do for I, you, we, they. Let me move this in here because I can't see clearly. Okay. Then we have does. Claudia Maria, please tell me the information that we had for does. Does, third person. Singular, he, she, it. Uh -huh, thank you. Florence, continue. The verb that goes after the auxiliary one change in the base form. Excellent, very good, thank you. Now listen, a uh, basic example of this is the question that we have been uh, reading about, right? For example, what kind of music do you like? Okay. Then we have, what kind of music does she like? You don't need to say, does she likes? No. Okay. Not going to happen in this world. All right. So as, as, as Florence already read, the verb that goes after the auxiliary won't change its base form, all right? If you didn't have this information, because actually this is part of simple present, you can copy this. If not, we can move on. Teacher, mm -hmm. what the meaning uh, want? Want. It's will, mm -hmm. but in negative. Instead of saying will not, uh, we say want. It's a contraction. Okay. Wait. All right. Uh, can you give an other example, please? Uh, with does? With does. For example, what kind of music does Anna listen to? All right? Listen to. We won't change the verb in them. Right? Thanks. You're welcome. There you go, everyone. So we have kinds of questions. This is like the topic, right? Do and does. Do you like Luis Miguel? Of course, we like. No. <laughs> I, no, I, I don't. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's see. Rafael, do you like Luis Miguel? Yes, I do. Excellent. Very good. Let's see. You're 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 on my team. Let's see, Noemi. Do you like Luis Miguel? Uh so so. <laughs> What's going on with you guys? <laughs> Luis Miguel rocks. <laughs> All right, everyone. So we have questions with do or does. These are the kinds of questions that we can use, all right? Then we have questions, kind of questions, WH words. For example, what does he sing? Imagine if I ask you, what does, what kind of music or what does the Beatles sing? Because maybe we don't know the genre, right? They sing romantic music, or in this case, he sings romantic music, okay? There you go. Let's move along. We have this pronunciation, intonation, in questions. Karina Jimenez, please read this information. Yes. No. Questions usually have rising intonation. W, w questions usually have falling intonation. There you go. This is like a quick tip, right? So do you like pop music? Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? What kind of music do you like? Right? This is like intonation. Now listen. I was checking section number four and you have this in the platform, right? So you can listen to that video as much as you want until you finally get the right intonation. After vacation, I have actually more information in here. I have prepared quite a lot, right? So after vacation, we're going to see a little bit more about this. But for now, this is basically it, right? So let me tell you that I hope you enjoyed your vacation, my dear students. Have fun, enjoy your vacation, take your time to relax and see you. I will see you fresh as a cucumber after the after vacations, right? I hope to see you. No se me vayan a perder. <laughs> All right. In your own house. <laughs> You're going to stay at home. Okay, excellent. All right, everyone. Goodbye. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. Goodbye. Thank you so much. Happy Take vacation, world. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, Bye teacher. Teacher, Bye. I have a question. I have a question. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tell me oh, your question. Uh, I can hear you uh, very well, but uh, for the next week, we don't have classes the next week. Mm -mm. Your vacation. Really? <laughs> yes. Vienen hasta el 9, si no me equivoco. Let me okay. check. Si no, les voy a decir igualmente en el grupo de WhatsApp, all right? Ok. Perfect. Pero sí, esta vacación, disfrútenla. Okay. Yo sé okay. que ustedes Enjoy están bien cansados. Yeah, thank you. All right, everyone. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you. Bye, bye. Bye. Good night.